before we had anything to offer him, before we lifted our voices in praise or our hands to his work, before we opened a Bible or walked into a church building, in fact, even before we were ever created, God was pursuing us with love, because God is love. We don't deserve the love of God. God created man and woman and gave them to eat of all the trees of the garden except one. We know the story. Adam and Eve ate of the fruit of the tree of knowledge of good and evil, and death, destruction, and despair became a part of the human experience. If it were not them, then it would surely be us. We are gossips and worriers. We are lazy and irritable. We chase after our lusts and our appetites. We search after everything but God and turn our backs on him at every turn. And yet he still comes after us, chasing us and pursuing us with his unending love. His saving love was announced by the prophets. Therefore the Lord himself will give you a sign. The virgin will be with child and, we, and will give birth to a son and we will call him Emmanuel, God with us and the government will be on his shoulders. And he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. He will reign on David's throne and over his kingdom, establishing and upholding it with justice and righteousness from the time on and forever. He will save them from their sins. Emmanuel came as a baby in a manger. His love was proven by his body on a cross. In this time, in this place, let us dwell on that love. Let us put aside thoughts of trees and presents and malls and meals and focus on God's pure in love. He is pursuing you right now. He knows you. He knows your thoughts and your actions. He is close to you, dwelling with you, delighting in you, and he loves you. Tonight is one more place that he is reminding you of that love. Tonight is one more place where God is reaching out to you and asking you to drink deep of him and his love for you. No matter where you come from, no matter what is going on in your life, or who has let you down or abandoned you, God has sought you out and brought you here to say, I love you. And so, and so we, we say, say come, come Lord Jesus. Jesus.